According to Bulgarian military, Russia's upgraded Tu-160M2 bomber now features a new capability to engage airborne targets in its rear hemisphere, making it the first strategic bomber globally to possess this feature. This advancement is achieved through a new rear-facing radar system and a class of air-to-air -air missiles specifically designed for rear engagement as part of a broader modernization initiative aimed at strengthening Russia's strategic air power. The Tu-160M2, produced at the Kazan Aviation Plant, now includes this cutting-edge radar, enhancing the bomber's defensive capabilities by allowing it to monitor threats from all directions. Alongside this, the aircraft is equipped with a new generation of air-to-air -air missiles capable of targeting enemies both in front and behind, increasing its operational flexibility. Reports from Scramble Netherlands indicate that these air-to-air -air missiles are positioned forward on the upgraded Tu-160M2, designed primarily for front hemisphere threats. For rear engagements, the bomber is expected to perform a 180-degree maneuver mid-flight, guided by target data from the rear-facing radar. Nicknamed White Swan, the fully modernized Tu-160M2 features advanced electronic warfare systems and next-generation radio equipment. Air trials began in December 2021, and Russia plans to produce up to 50 units, with four already delivered as of 2023. This bomber poses a significant threat to Western forces, with the capacity to launch hypersonic missiles like the KH-101 and KH-102. Its armament versatility allows for six different weapon types and robust anti-missile countermeasures. If all 50 units are deployed, they could collectively launch up to 32 hypersonic missiles at a target. This modernization effort goes beyond extending the bomber's strike range. It demonstrates Russia's commitment to maintaining a competitive edge in global aerospace and sustaining a strong deterrent force. The upgrades to the Tu-160M2 represent a strategic leap in enhancing long-range capabilities and adapting to evolving military challenges. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.